Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is ad actor world rotation. Let's go ahead and run through the example. You're not really going to see much happen here, but basically, I want to add 45 degrees to the Y for this actor in world space, and we've now rotated it 45 degrees. That's it. That's what this note is for. But let's go ahead and cover the small little parts of it. We type in add actor world. We're not going to find it. It is context sensitive. So for example, we could drag off of this little actor that I have created here. Let's get him. And we'll do add actor world. And we're going to go ahead and find it right here. Add actor world rotation. It's pretty simple. It's going to take in an actor as a target, as you saw. It's going to take in a rotator, which I can split because it is a struct. But it has two more hidden options, technically three, but that's an output. Sweeping and teleporting. And we'll cover those when we get to it. Now let's look at the node and let's compare it to its basically sister or brother node. The add actor world rotation applies an add operation to the rotation of an actor in world space. And the companion to that one is the local version, which adds it in local space. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. Let's run our example. Let's eject and click on our cube. And let's go ahead and look at world and local space. Right now, if I toggle, it's going to toggle between world and local or object space and no difference. My item is at zero, zero, zero rotation. Therefore, there's no difference. Let's adjust this to 45 degrees. And we're now going to see our gizmo changing. World space, Z is always up. X is this direction and Y is that direction. Local space, well, it depends on if you've rotated locally this item or not. Is it rotated? Therefore, it's going to have a different rotation in local or object space. Now this node, no matter what the rotation is of in here, this is the local rotation. This node that we're using, add actor world rotation, will rotate based on world. So in this case, if I was to apply the local rotation on the Z, which is this one, it's going to rotate it so the left and the right sides spin, and this item basically always remains on its top point. If I decide to rotate it along the Z in world rotation, let's say 45 degrees, it's going to rotate it along the world Z. So let's go 10 and let's watch it happening. You notice how the world Z is up and down, and you'll notice it rotates around that pivot point. Does it matter what my world ro rotation is of the item? We could do 34, and we could do uh, 56. And now this item is just wacky. World rotation will always remain the world coordinate system, X, Y, and Z. So I could do, for example, let's go back to 0, and let's rotate it along the X. Let's do 10 as well. And you notice it now rotating along our, whoops, there we go, our X. So that is what the world rotation node is for. It's for keeping a consistent rotation in the world itself, not relative to the item itself. Sweeping and teleporting are pretty simple. Sweeping is when we're rotating, are we going to check for collisions? Now there is something to note here. According to the tooltip, it's not currently supported. Whether that's true or not, when you're watching this video, as of 4.12, this tooltip says not currently supported. In the future, it may change. But just for reference, if it doesn't work for you, it may be because it's not supported. But what it's supposed to do is, when you are rotating this item, should it check for physics collisions? If you notice over here, we actually get the full description for the local version. Is there a collision? Is there a triggering of an overlap? Should we interact with something when we're rotating? If sweep is turned on, it will interact. If not, it basically exists as if there's no collision, and it will happen. If sweeping is turned on, you will have a hit result. You can always just break the hit result, for example, and you can go ahead and get the information. The last option is teleport. Teleport is basically, do we have physics turned on? 
Should we be worried about physics going crazy because of a large rotation, such as spinning it maybe around the z-axis, and while we're spinning, we have some tentacles or tendrils flailing around? Under normal use with physics, if we're slowly rotating, we're going to get the expected results. If we do a massive turn, like let's say a 180 degree instant turn, something that technically really wouldn't happen in physics, but we instantly turn it, we might want to turn teleport on. And what that's going to do is basically have physics ignore the rotation. Physics is not going to be aware of it, and it's just going to not go crazy. So just ask yourself that question. Is it a big adding that I'm doing for the rotation? Should I be worried about physics going crazy? If so, check this. If not, leave it alone. That's going to go ahead and wrap up our add actor world rotation node. Takes in an actor as a target. It's going to go ahead and take in a rotator, which of course you can split, for how much rotation on each of the x, y, and z that we're going to add to this current actor. Keep in mind it's an add, so it can be positive or neg negative. And it is in world space, so it's always going to follow the normal x, y, z, where x is going to be up. Not x is up. <laughs> z is going to be up. x is going to be in one direction, and y is going to be in another. And you can sweep or teleport, depending on if you want something to collide, or if you want something to move without physics going crazy.